Hi, my name is Quobix, and I'm the founder of Princess Beef Heavy Industries. Princess Beef Heavy Industries. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour through OpenAPI Changes, the world's sexiest OpenAPI breaking changes detector. First, I assume that you're trying to compare an updated spec against an original spec, or that you're trying to compare an updated spec inside a Git repository. We're going to walk through both scenarios. First, let's compare the original and updated specs against each other. I call this left and right comparisons, so if you hear me using those terms, you'll know what I'm talking about. Before we get cracking, let's install OpenAPI changes. There's a few options. The most accessible way, if you're on a Mac or Linux, is to use Homebrew. Now, npm slash yarn is also available if you're a JavaScript fan. Docker is available too, for those who love containers. And if none of those are to your taste, you can also install OpenAPI changes via curl. The left-hand side spec is the original specification, and the right-hand side spec is the modified one. First, let's use the summary command to print out a console-friendly version of the changes detected between those two OpenAPI specifications that I have here. Now, these are just the OpenAPI PED store specifications. The left is the original, and the right is one I took a chainsaw to and mutilated. But as you can see, a simple tree is printed out. Everything that's been added to the spec is represented by a plus sign. Everything removed uses a dash, and everything that's been modified uses a big M. A breakdown of all the changes and where they occurred, and how many are noted. Breaking changes are broken out and counted individually. A breaking change is something to be concerned about, so it all appears in red. Because, you know, danger. We can run the same summary command on any spec from a GitHub repo, so there's no need for those left and right specs, it's just the URL of the specification in the repo itself. For example, let's use the same pet store spec, but this time let's pull it straight from GitHub. Rerunning the summary command shows a tree of results and a summary block for each commit that was made to the spec. It shows each change made and what was changed. Pretty cool. All right, let's look at something a little more sexy. How about viewing the series of changes in an HTML report? Running the HTML report command will generate a ready-to-view interactive report that is renderable anywhere. It has no network dependencies. To view it, run openreport.html and up will pop a sexy UI that shows the same tree of changes that we saw in the summary view on the left and some fun donut charts at the top Complete with a little timeline button. We'll come back to that in a moment though. On the right hand side of the report, we can see the stats of the changes in this particular commit. Clicking on any of these changes in the tree will load a diff view with the line of that change highlighted. There is a small summary of the change at the top of the view. And over here on the right hand side, it indicates whether it's a breaking change. If you don't like the side by side view, you can always switch it to an inline diff view. It may be easier to read. Click on any of the changes and see the change appear in the view. No need to go searching. Clicking on the Graph tab renders the data as a flow. You can drag the mouse around to navigate across the diagram, or you can use the mouse wheel or the zoom controls to control the scale. Hit the circular arrow to reset the view, and then hit the path icon to rotate the direction of the flow in the diagram. Clicking any of the nodes in the diagram will bring up the same summary diff view from the Tree Explorer tab. Now, let's head back to this Timeline button at the top left. Clicking it opens the Timeline view, which shows each change made to the OpenAPI spec. A chart shows the number of changes and breaking changes made over time, and underneath each commit and the number of each type of changes made and how many were breaking. Clicking any of these commits will load that report. The explore views will reset with each new set of changes loaded. Okay, how do you explore changes like this without a funky HTML interactive report? OpenAPI Changes has a built-in terminal UI, so there's no need to leave the terminal ever. 
Using the console command, it pops up a simple yet elegant terminal UI to explore the same data that we saw at the HTML report and the summary command. Use the up and down arrow keys to move between the commits for the OpenAPI spec in the top pane and press Enter to select a commit, then use the up and down keys again to choose a change from that commit from the middle pane. Press Return to select a change and then review it in the bottom pane. Hit Escape to return to the top pane to select another commit and then finally press Escape or Control c to quit. Pretty cool, but there's more. Do you need a machine-readable report, or do you need to consume this report downstream in another application? OpenAPI Changes comes with a report command that'll spit out a big old JSON blob of everything used to render all of the UIs in the app. Just run the report command like before, and out will pour reams and reams of JSON. That's it for this run-through of OpenAPI Changes. Let me know how you get on with it. See you next time. Twitter tweets. Any industries?